Hello girls, I just finished the cooking my dinner and I found something very interesting that I would like to share with all of you. Um, is that when I use this part, this cookware, this saucepan to cook my ramen, and this pan is actually made of stainless steel and it says here, can you see? It says um, the finest stainless steel here, finest stainless steel. I have no doubt that it is made of stainless steel and <laughs> When I finished the cleaning, all these stuff, and I look into the inner part of it. Wow, it gives a pattern of rainbow color inside. And no matter how hard I wipe it, it is still there. And any one of you know what is the reason behind this pattern of rainbow color, and no matter how hard I wipe it, it is still there. Do you know why? Hmm? Now, actually, it deals with two topics that we have been learned previously, one in Form 4 and one in Form 6. The first topic that we have learned before is the corrosion of metals. And in particular, when we learn about the methods to um, decrease the rate of rusting, okay, the prevention of corrosion of iron, uh, is that we make stainless steel. Now, stainless steel made use of the alloy of iron, okay, make use of the alloy. Alloy, of course, is a mixture that helps the iron from um, prevention of rusting and mixed with a certain percentage amount of the carbon, um, chromium, nickel, manganese, these kind of elements into it so that it helps in form a corrosion resistant oxide layer. All right. And I have been using this part for more than 10 years. And of course, inside it actually got 11% of the chromium in it to help it from not being rust. Now, the problem actually comes from chromium. Now, chromium is a transition metal, right? And we have learned this in the patterns of the chemical world in Form 6. And in the microscope 3, what we have learned is that Many of these transition metals, actually, they got multiple oxidation state, right? And when I cook it, when I cook it, of course, it is of a very, very high temperature, and it allows the metal from being oxidized, all right? Actually, this is an oxide layer of chromium. They are the chromium oxides. And why it gives a rainbow color? For those careful girls, you might have already knew the answer. It is because they are in multiple different oxidation state. Now, chromium-2 ions are actually having a blue color. Chromium-3 is actually having a green color. And finally, chromium-6 is having a yellow or orange color, depending on where is a CrO4 2 minus or CrO2O7 2 minus. All right. So that's why, if you look very carefully, you can see these three colors in it. Orange outside might be of the plus six oxidation state, and the inner part, some green, might be of plus three. And finally, in the in, inner part, hey, some blue might be um, in plus two oxidation state. And that's why it shows the different colored ion of the transition metals, all right, from the chromium after being strongly heat. Okay, so how can I remove it? Any girls can tell me how can I remove these oxide layer when you know that it is chromium oxides, huh? Okay, it is by adding some of the common chemicals in our kitchen. Of course, I, I, I'm not going to add it right now because I need to film this video. And after that, after finishing this video, I go into my kitchen and get some vinegar okay, to add into it because vinegar contains ethanoic acid and acid and the base will actually react to form soluble salt. And that's why when I add the vinegar into it, okay, theoretically speaking, and of course, practically speaking, it will be cleaned, okay, and I will just wash all of them, okay, wash those soluble salt out and it will be clean as new as 10 years ago. All right, is it good? Okay, so I need to go in some vacation and some vinegar and then do my cleaning. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this, this video. Have a very nice day. Bye-bye.